long distance running. Long distance running. Running is a sport for everyone. Sport is often thought of, of as a team game, but many sports involve just one person. Long distance running is one of them. Both ch children and adults can enjoy long distance running. It is a sport for people who want to complete an event and for people who like to run for fun and fitness. Whatever goal a runner has, there's a long distance running event to suit them. Think and talk about. It is very important that runners drink plenty of water and involve running in the hottest part of the day. Children and adults sometimes take part in long distance runs together. Cross country runs. Many children first try long distance running when they take part in a cross country run at school. Cross country events are run over uneven ground. Runners might have to cross fences and run up and down hills. Sometimes they have to splash through water and mud and run over rough ground. Cross country runs for children are from 800 metres to 3 kilometres long. The length of the run will depend on the age of the runner. Cross country runner often had to run over muddy ground. Community clubs. Children who are enjoying long distance running at school usually join a running club in the community. Runners meet after school or at weekends. The members are put into groups according to their age. They take part in long distance road or cross country runs. An adult runner goes with each group of children to make sure everyone is safe. Club members often wear a uniform. Think and talk about community running clubs are often called Harrier Clubs. Harrier clubs are named after a game in chase. The game was played over 180 years ago by children in England. Community runner cl running clubs sometimes hold run races for their members. Fun runs. There are many long distance running events for children and adults to take part in, in they are generally called fun runs. Some events are to help raise money for activities, other events are to encourage children to get fit. In some long distance events, family enter as a team, they run together or in a relay. Growing up and going further, many adults enjoy long distance running some people train by running to and from work or during their lunch time. Others use a treadmill at home or at the gym. Weekends are a good time to, to good time for taking part in a long run or one and a half hours or more. Fun runs are great for all ages. Use a treadmill is an excellent way to train for long step running events. Event to aim for. Aim for. Enter a special event. Give, give this runner a reason to keep training. The most common long distance events for adults are the 10 kilometer half marathon, just over 21 kilometer, and full marathon, 42.2 kilometers runs. It can take a beginning runner two or three months to train for a half marathon and over four months to train for a full marathon. Running takes your places. Long distance runners usually take part in events. 
of their own country, but sometimes Rana might travel to a special famous event in another country. Think and talk about people who compete in China's Great Wall Marathon must run up more than 5,000 steps. Famous long distance events. The Big Five Marathon takes place in South Africa. Runners cross the Albany Game Reserve as they run their frequently see big, big animals such as giraffes and recurrences. Running a New York City marathon run through one of the world's one of the most exciting cities in the world. In the Great Wall Mafia, runners run along the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall Marathon is in China is held every year. Run on fun on the run. Runners who take part in famous long distance running usually have a lot of fun. People who come to watch them have fun too. The New York City Marathons had over ten hundred different bands playing along the running route. In the London Marathon, many runners run in fancy dress. They dress it up as superheroes, dinosaurs, and even giant fruit. Runners in the London Met there are sometimes dressed as their favourite characters. Think and talk about the oldest person to ever complete a marathon was 100 years old. Extreme running. Ultra marathons. Some long distance runners prefer an actual big challenge. They find it by running an ultra marathon. An ultra marathon is an any event that is longer than a marathon. There are three main types of ultra marathon: distant events, time events, and tough terrain events. Think and talk about the most common ultra marathons are 50 kilometers long. Other may be 100 or more kilometers long. Some runners take part in large, longer events such as the Copper Cayon Ultra Marathon in Mexico. The Tough Terrain Ultra Marathon. Long distance runs can take place almost every, anywhere. Some of the most difficult runs take place in dangerous areas. The Jungle Ultras take place in Peru and South America. Runners start in the mountains and run down, then across the Amazon jungle. They cross over 70 rivers and streams. They run through the swamp of biting bugs. The run is almost 230 kilometers long. Over dis difficult ultra methods are through the hottest, driest, highest and coldest places in the world. Come Petitors in the Junka Ultra Marathon, Peru, run through rivers and streams. Not everyone chooses long distance running as their sport, but those who do often never want to stop. Luckily, there are events to suit every age and ability. Think and talk about. Runners in a time ultra marathon run for a set length of time such as 20 hours or more. The runner who runs the great distance, the greatest distance in the set time is the winner. The Marathon des Sables. The Marathon des Sables is one of the most famous extreme long distance running events in the world. The event is famous for its distance and for where it takes place. It is known as the race where you carry everything you need on your back. The Marathon de Sables is about 250 kilometers long. It takes place each, each April in the Sahara Desert. 
and more road car. Runners have six days to run the race, but one day is for having a rest. Each day, runners take everything they need with them. They carry these supplies in a pack on their back. Inside the pack are water, food, a first aid kit, and a map and compass. They also take a sleeping bag and sleeping mat. Each night, the runners sleep in a tent. Mathon de Sablis competitors have to wear clothing, clothes, that give them protect from the sun. It is very, it is very hot in the desert. The temperature can be over forty five C during the day. Sometimes the sand is so deep that runners cannot run; they have to walk. Markers show the runners which way to go, but sometimes they still have to use their map. Some markers. Have special lights so runner can find find their way uh, find their way after dark. Runners in the Marathon de Sablis have to deal with extreme temperatures. Marathon de Sablis runners run up and down desert mountains. They may even run through sandstorms. The race is one of the world's most difficult difficult but each year more than 1,000 people enter it. Once a runner has finished the marathon this fabulous, they know they can do almost anything.